guys, Zaxer Tech here for another video, and today we're going to be talking about um, a really great hack that I found that allows you to essentially get any free trial for any service um, as often as you want. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and make a disclaimer here. Um, if you find a service that you really like and you plan to use often, um, obviously I encourage you guys to pay for it um, for a full subscription, but the idea here uh, in using this sort of hack is if you were trying to, for example, maybe listen to a song or you wanted to watch a video or something and you'd already previously completed a trial of a service, um, it allows you to re-sign um, up for a trial for these different um, services. Now, technically, you can do this as much as you want. Um, again, I do encourage you guys to pay for these services, obviously, if you're going to be using it frequently, uh, but it's a really great hack so that if you're only uh, very infrequently using a service or you just need to use it, um, once for something very quickly, um, then you can do this anytime you want and there's no risk of being charged. Um, it completely takes away that element of having to worry about your card being charged. Um, you know, obviously there's things you can do, like if you wanted to use multiple cards, you could definitely do that. Um, but say you only have one credit card um, and you've already done a trial for a particular service, um, you can use this method to go back and complete trials for whatever service you want. So I'm gonna just do an example here for you today. Um, with one service, but keep in mind you could use this for things like Netflix or Spotify um, Or you could use it for any of those different service movie streaming services music streaming services and things like that um, And so let's go ahead and just get started the the main things that you're going to need here Really two things um, the first thing is you're going to want to sign up for an app called privacy and privacy is an app that allows you to create um, temporary cards. They're essentially prepaid cards that you can create that use your debit card or your bank account um, to pull money from. So let's go ahead and look at what that looks like here. Now when you pull up the app, um, when you've signed up, uh, which I will have a link in the description that's going to get you five dollars for free uh, if you use this application. Um, it's completely free to use this application. Um, if you spend any money on it, uh, then you get that $5. So definitely sign up with the link in the description. Uh, but the nice thing here is even if you don't use it at all and you're just using it for, uh, or rather if you're not paying for anything, if you just use it for what I'm showing you today, um, you're still going to be able to do what you need to do here. So let's go ahead and look at how this would work. If you click on the red icon in the top right hand corner here, uh, you get the option to do two things. You can either create a merchant specific card or a single use card. Uh, and the nice thing here, if you use the merchant card, you can see it's gonna lock to the first place that you use it. So for example, that can be a card that you're gonna use recurring. Um, I'm showing you a bit of a hack here today. The purpose of this app is really to give you the ability to kind of segment all of your purchases, to segment all of your costs. So that way, for example, if you want to keep your cost for Netflix and your cost for um, your TV service and everything, you want them separated. Um, and also to make sure that you're not being overcharged and things like that, you can go in here and you can fine tune the settings for these cards, which is really nice. Um, so you can basically set it to how much you want to be the max cap on the card. You can also more easily distinguish the costs themselves, so you can go and see all the transactions for one particular service. It makes it easier to also see the pay cycle for those services versus just having to kind of cycle through all the services in your bank statement. Um, so that's the first thing, and then the second one is a single-use card, which closes out after the first use. So you can use either of these. I use the single-use one here. All right, and so you can see with the single use card here that it's going to give me a full number. And if I was to just uh, tap on this area here, it will reveal the full card number. Um, you get a full card plus the expiration date plus the uh, security code. And you can use that information to input into any app, service, anything. It's a full payment card. It is prepaid. Um, so there's going to be certain services that are obviously going to limit what kind of cards you can use. If they do not accept prepaid cards, then it will not work. Uh, but most services don't really care if you're using a prepaid card, especially because some people uh, primarily pay for things online with prepaid cards. So you can go in here and just kind of name this if you'd like to whatever you want. I'm just going to give it a nickname here. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and save that here. And then for the spend limit, I'm going to go ahead and immediately set that to $1. So you can do 
two things here. If you already know that whatever you're paying for is going to exceed a dollar, if it was like a $15 charge or something, um, and you just need to try something out very quickly, um, you know, again, or reuse a trial because you did it a long time ago and you just wanted to show someone something, that's perfectly fine. Set it to a dollar, then even if you do forget to cancel something, it's going to prevent uh, those charges from going through. And what you'll actually get is a notification. Uh, you'll even get an email notification that'll tell you that it is declining that transaction because it exceeds the amount that you put. So you can put that as a dollar, and then even after you've actually used the card, whatever service that you're using it on, you can actually go in and you can cancel this card by clicking on the delete option here. That will completely cancel the card after you've already subscribed for whatever trial you're doing. Um, that way there's no possibility of it ever being charged again or ever being used. Okay, so the first step here is you're gonna need to create an email account. So if you do have another email account, that's fine. You can use that. If you don't, you can use something like this. Um, there's many different email services, but some of them are a hassle to sign up with. So I just use Yandex Mail. Um, it is kind of like the Russian Google, um, but it's just mail.yandex.com, and you can click on create an account. And again, this is just a temporary account that I'm creating here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put in my information. Um, you don't have to put in a phone number if you don't want to, and then you can click on register. For the first name and last name too, you don't have to put in anything specific, so I'll just go ahead and show you here. All right, so I went ahead and put in that information here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a password and confirm that and put that I don't have a mobile phone. All right, and then you have to set a security question here, so you can either choose one of these or you can even set your own security question. All right, so you put in your security question here, and then you're gonna go ahead and enter these characters on the screen and click on register. All right, and that's all you have to do to create an email account with Yandex. Um, so here you could upload a photo and all this, but since this is just a quick account that I'm creating here, obviously I'm just gonna skip past these steps. And you can see just like that, I'm into my email account. So Yandex is definitely, for me, the easiest account to create if I'm just trying to create a very quick email account. And now I have an email address that I can use for my trial. Okay guys, and then the next step here is you're going to need to obviously find what you're gonna do your free trial for. Um, in this case, I'm just doing STARS, uh, for example, um, just to show you how this would work, but you just go to whatever the service is that you wanna use, you click on start your free trial. So then I'm gonna go ahead and enter my email address here that I created earlier. All right, and click on continue. And then you can go ahead and select the plan that you want to do the trial for. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the monthly one. We'll put in our credit card information here. All right, and then the zip code shouldn't matter, but you just fill your information in here and click on continue. And you can see there that I've continued. Now I go ahead and just put in the password that I wanna use here and click on continue. All right, and I'm in. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the continue option here. Um, and now I'm in my account. So I've got this trial set. Um, this is going to range, obviously, depending on the service that you use. You might have a seven-day trial. You might have a 14, 30-day trial. Some services offer um, as many as three months that you can do a trial for services. So, again, I really urge you guys don't, you know, use this for everything, obviously. If you're going to use a service very frequently, definitely subscribe, pay for the service, um, support those companies. This is a great workaround because there are about a million services out there um, that do so many different things, and we cannot obviously afford uh, to subscribe to everything, especially if you're only going to use it uh, once or twice. So this is a really great way to be able to uh, make use of some of these services, especially if there was just one you know, particular thing you wanted to use it for very quickly. Um, very easy to kind of get in there and do this. So let me know what you guys think about the workaround, guys. Um, again, the links are going to be in the description. Um, use that link for the privacy app uh, to get your $5 credit. Um, and then obviously you can use that for whatever you want. I also have the link in there for the mail service I use, which is Yandex. Um, so you can easily access that if you wanted to create a temporary mail account. Um, but the other thing I did want to mention again is the purpose of that privacy app is to create unique cards that you can use for more than one purpose. So even though you can use that for this purpose, um, I also do encourage you guys to use it in general, um, even if not for this purpose. Um, the best thing for me about that particular app is when you use your payment card online in general, even if you're using it for Amazon or whatever, um, it does help with exactly what it's for, privacy, but also for security too. 
The thing that's really great about the privacy app is that instead of having to then get a brand new credit card, you can cancel whatever temporary card you're using. You can use just one card um, for individual services, but if that card gets compromised, you can always cancel it directly in the app, create a new card and use that for that service. So that way you've kind of segmented all of your payment information. And if you're compromised on Amazon, for example, you cancel that card, create a new one. Um, and now you no longer have to worry about replacing your debit card or having to have your bank information resecured. Um, it really does help to protect your security as well. So I encourage you guys to check that out. Um, but otherwise, that's it for this video, guys. Um, again, let me know what you think. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.